Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have covered the transmission medium so in which the data will be transferred from source to destination. So that is particularly in the physical air. Right. Now in this session, we'll go with the design issues of the data link layer. Right. So the design issues of data link layer. So DLL means a data link layer. So the major design issues here is the flow control. So how the data frames will be controlled in between the sender and the receiver first, right? So that we call it as a flow control. And the second design issue, important design issue is error control. Error control. So error control will be having both uh, detection and correction, error correction and error detection, right? So we'll go with this flow control in this session and the next session we'll go with this error control, right? So coming to this flow control, so first, the data will be in form of frames in data link layer. So how these frames will be recognized, I mean, uh, represented. So the payload will be done. So in this payload, header will be included. Similarly, trailer will be included. And this commonly forms a frame. Right. So this commonly forms a frame we call it as a data frame right this is completely it's a frame so the data will be recognized in terms of frames here the payload is actual data which is going to be sent from the sender host to the receiver host right so what is meant by this so how this data controlled these data frames will be controlled between the sender and receiver so we know that the sender will be there and the receiver will be there So particularly in this flow control, so the speed is a most important issue. So whatever the speed the sender is sending the messages, the receiver must be able to receive those data frames at the particular speed itself, at the same speed itself, right? So both have to work, sender and receiver both have to work at the same speed, okay? At the same speed. So, at what speed the sender sends the messages, with the same speed, the receiver have to process the data frames. Right. So, what happens if it violates? That means, if sender is sending with a more speed, and receiver receives with a less speed, automatically, at the receiver side, there might be a chance of more loading. So before processing the data frames, so new data frames will be arriving at the receiver side. So that's why we call it as a overloading. So this overloading will be done here so that the result will be the data loss. So due to this overloading, some data will be lost. So this happens if the speed is difference between the sender and receiver. So that means if sender and receiver following the different speeds so automatically the overloading will be done which results the data loss so both have to work in a same speed consistent speed right so in order to control these data frames it can be done by using two types of mechanisms so this control flow is depends upon two mechanisms this can be done in two mechanisms so first one is Stop and wait mechanism. The second one is sliding window mechanism. So, if you follow these two techniques, automatically the control that there will be a control on data frames. So, there will be no data loss, right? So, in the stop and wait, here the name itself indicates stop wait. So, here there will be a sender and the receiver. So whenever the data is sent from sender to receiver, 
so let it be it's a frame one so senders should stop and wait until the sender receives an acknowledgement from the receiver so unless it receives an acknowledgement for frame one from the receiver this sender will stop and it wait for the acknowledgement it doesn't send the next data frame right so whenever this receiver sends an acknowledgement acknowledgement of one that means for frame one immediately now the sender will again sends the data frame the next data frame and again the sender stop sending the data frames and it waits for the acknowledgement from the receiver so again it, it have to receive the acknowledgement from the receiver so this can control the flow of data frames but here the resource will be wasted the time is wasted and also the utilization of resources is also wasted because the sender have to wait until it gets the um, acknowledgement from the receiver that means it should be in ideal position right so for the in a sliding window technique uh, there will be a sender and receiver so here so instead of uh, sending the acknowledgement after each and every frame the acknowledge acknowledgement will be sent after the some set of frames after sending the some set of frames so some set of frames will be depends upon the window size so after sending a few frames then the acknowledgement will be coming from the receiver right so the sender will be keep on sending the frames after some set of frames then the receiver will start sending the acknowledgement for sender for the uh, received data frames so this by this we can so there will be one window so a set of frames will be sent right so this is how we can uh, the flow of data from frames can be controlled by using the stopping stop and wait and the sliding window right so let us stop here and uh, hope you understood this uh, flow control in the data link layer uh, so we will uh, go with the next session that is a uh, error control right so if you really understood my sessions like my sessions and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, uh, design issues of a uh, data link layer feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so definitely we will try to clarify all your doubts and uh, share our sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much